Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I'm going to show you how to adjust the vacuum brake. This is the vacuum brake right here on a Holley two barrel 2245 carburetor. The vacuum brake is used to uh, uh, keep the choke slightly open when you're throttling it up uh, when it's cold. Otherwise, uh, you'll get too much choking and kill your engine. Uh, if that's happening, then you might check this out and see if you got a gap here. So you can do it on the car or do it on the bench. And on the, if you do it on the car, uh, take your fast idle loose here so that doesn't get in the way. And, uh, and then you start the car up and the vacuum from the car will pull this piston in right here. It'll pull that in. You want it all the way collapsed. And then you hold your uh, and the throttle, I got to move that and get that in. Okay, and you hold your uh, choke in, not too tight. You can see how it stops. And uh, with your uh, piston all the way in, like I was saying, measure the distance between the tower and the uh, choke valve. And that specification will be in your motor's manual or in the spec sheet. In our carburetor kits, it's on a spec sheet in the, that comes with the kit. Okay, They're di it's different for every car. So it's important you look for the spec. Okay, now off the car, on the bench like I'm doing here. Um, now one thing about, you need to test this, make sure it's even working. When you have vacuum on it, the piston should stay in. If it starts bleeding out or losing vacuum, uh, it's, it, you need to replace it. And you, you can sometimes take this off and just use your mouth to suck on it. Remember, just hold, vac hold on the vacuum. You can't tell how much vacuum you're giving it, of course, but... Uh, uh, it probably will work or it won't work. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put uh, 10 to 15 HGs on it. I use this Mighty Vac tester. Uh, it's a little more expensive than some of these vacuum testers, uh, but it's actually made out of metal. And uh, it comes with all kinds of good goodies that go with it for adapting. And uh, this one also does a pressure. You can pump up pressure with it, so it gives you uh, a way to pressure test things. Okay, so uh, make sure that piston's always bottom. Same thing. Close your choke. You should have a little gap left there. Open your throttle. Make sure that's not impeding the uh, choke. And uh, measure the distance. Same thing. Again, look in your spec sheet and uh, measure that, and that's what you got. And then again, adjust it by uh, adjusting this rod right here. You either collapse this or make it wider until you get the right uh, distance. Okay? I appreciate you watching this. Thank you.